You can just stand. Hey, what's going on, guys? Oh, crap. I just said it. Oh, well. So we got a, a game here with the boys. Uh, Greentail, yeah, Cool Breeze, and Foul Master Flex. And we just did two matches, Foul Master Flex and I, with Scuba and Striker, and we failed miserably. And now you're going to see two matches with my sons. And, hmm, I don't know. You, you be the judge of who the better two players are. <laughs> That's right, Sk Striker and Scuba. I said it. Oh, yeah, and uh, the kids are, are better than Scuba and Striker. <laughs> we'll see, we, won't we? Yeah. So yep. Cool Breeze said he saw somebody over here, so I'm running as fast as I can to get to him. And I found him in the field, so we synchronize our attack. I told yeah. Cool Breeze, do not shoot, and we'll count it down. And we started to fire. The reason I did that, even though we missed him, was so that he wouldn't know exactly which way that the gunfire was coming from. Hopefully it would throw him off a little bit, and it did. I think Foulmaster was from another direction and picked him off. So I took that guy out. I hit the other guy two times. Oh, you got one too? No, I hit that. Oh, you got that guy? Yeah, the one oh. that. Oh, who punched him to death? Uh, Green Tail Shark. <laughs> and uh, it was a headshot because uh, I decided to finish him, him off for uh, whoever killed him. And then, uh, I think I gave whoever killed him the kill. I had a feeling somebody was coming, so I ran up there, unloaded that Uzi on him, got my two kills. And who knocked you? You know who, who got you? Who, me? Yeah, somebody knocked you. Oh, it was that guy. That guy turned around and shot you. No, somebody else got me with an AK. Hmm. Oh, that's right, because I picked up an AK off that guy. Oh, yeah, um, me and Val, there was a guy behind us while we were shooting at the other guy down on the ground with you all. Well, then he and must have killed me. Oh, uh, we looted that guy. Okay. Well, you didn't die. Oh, well, yeah, he downed me. No, we're racing all the way across the map. I left all this in there because, who was it? Somebody on YouTube told me, uh, or no, it was it's Scuba. Saying that I cut out all my me getting knocked, so I figured, eh, let's just throw the whole thing in here and we'll fast forward what we can. I actually like watching this in super fast motion. I feel like I'm going like 300 miles an hour. Yeah. I feel like uh, we're driving the real hot rod. <laughs> yeah. Except even faster. But we did loot that. I did cut out a little bit there of that looting in those buildings. And at the very, very beginning, that's all I cut out. Nothing extra. I'm leaving the other looting in here. I think it was right about here where uh, Foulmaster said a truck had pulled up. I never heard a truck. Same. I actually, I think it was right about here it pulled up. So Foulmaster tells us, so I'm going to kick it into gear here. And I'm not exactly sure which way, where he's fighting, and if these guys are about to just storm or storm us. So I'm going to try and push to Foulmaster. And what I'm doing, my tactic here, is since I don't know exactly which way he's facing or where these guys are at, I'm looking at the mini-map and seeing which way he's facing. So I follow that direction, and I see that truck pretty far. And since he's already knocked one guy, and he feels that it's safe enough to cross here, I know I've got to back him up. So I just stick with him. I'm looking to see if I have a grenade. No grenade, so I'm going to start flanking. I was back behind both of them. Oh, did you see that? I knocked him out of the car. He's trying to get away. Yep. I wonder why he would he would do this tonight. I don't know. That surprised me. I didn't know there was someone there. And boom, I got that guy too. And he died instantly, so we had time to loot. And I cut out about three minutes of looting again. Here's where I always feel like I shine, is picking the right spots for us to go to. And But we decided to go 
via the truck. We thought just in case the next circle is pretty far, let's keep the trucks with us in case of an emergency. Wait, but what about the hot rod? Yeah, we, we'd already left the hot rod way back at the first building. Yeah, I forgot about the These hot rod. These guys have pulled up with their trucks, so we took their trucks. And that hot rod, is, hot rod is really loud when you get into the top 20. Oh, yeah. I didn't, I just forgot about it. Yeah, I had to pause there for a few times just because I was lagging out. But now that the next circle has cleared and we're going to see where we have to move to, that's where I felt like the safest spot would be. I knew there could be some guys hiding out in that little building. But it was a risk we were all willing to take. So you're in the front truck. Explain what's going on, Cole Breeze. So I was I was driving towards the shed, stopped to the side. It's you and, and Foulmaster, right? Yeah, and I saw the guy through the window of the shed. I only saw one, so I was surprised when the second guy came out. I was watching the other way, making sure he wasn't coming. We made sure that none of us ran to the front of that little building. Just in case they got knocked, he could have killed one of us real quickly before we finished him off. He knocked out him over there and killed him with the AKM. And I tried shooting someone uh, with an AK. Nice. But I missed. Guy barely so we get foul up, we all res, or we get held, healed up. Loot one last time. Everyone, we all share our power or painkillers with each other. And I'm not liking the way that next circle is going. I don't see a nice safe spot. If I could get next to those little that little gas station, that would be the best. But still, we'd have to run across the street. I thought uh, we were gonna die. Yeah, we were all trying to shoot and see if we could take out at least one of those guys. And that actually us shooting at them, making them turn around, was the best thing that happened. Because they turn around, went back up, so they didn't come down the hill. And they engaged another squad. And half of them get killed. And so that helps a little. Yep, now there's just two guys left. That helped us a ton. And, uh... So we just push this hill as fast as we can. So Distix and me, uh, go push? I thought... At, at this very moment, we didn't realize there was just one guy left. I thought y'all were going to die right there because the guy could have just easily kind of looked down. Yeah, but he had to heal up. That's why I pushed as fast as I did. And I'm going so, over there for some distraction. Yeah, and I was going to throw that grenade, but when you ran there, I had to just throw the grenade away so it wouldn't kill you. But when you ran over there, you scared him out from his hiding. And Thalmas was able to get that final kill, and we won the match. Oh, yeah, and uh, the guy uh, sent me a, a message. <laughs> he did send you a personal message, didn't he? That wasn't very nice of him. He said, uh, hey, dude. No, uh, hey. Get banned, dude. Yeah. Oh, well. And I said, sorry. You don't have to be sorry for kicking butt. That's why I'm angry. Th this was actually the match before that one. Um, these were two back-to-back -back fights. There was one. I did cut out a lot at the beginning because it was just looting. We pretty much we landed at the school, looted there, went to the apartments, looted there, and now we're here. And we're in, about to be in the top ten. Uh, I saw some guys to our left. I and I got. And they were rushing down, and I got downed. Yeah. So cool breeze and Foulmaster are covering us as I res. Green tail. The crazy thing here is that that little garage is where we all need to go, and they beat us to it. And I hate it when that happens. Oh yeah, uh, the reason why I stay 
closest a distance, and so uh, I have someone bigger to cover me. <laughs> yeah, you always do stick real close to me, don't you? I like that. Yep. Because I'm always scared I'm going to die. So I just stick really close to you. So since it's, it's 4 verse 3, we're going to use these smoke grenades to try and give us some cover fire as we push closer to the circle. And we don't want to wait to the very last second. So as soon as I see these smokes give us a little bit of cover, I'm going to take off and bring green tail with me. We're going to yep. push and assault. And I think you're coming too, right? No, I'm yeah. sorry, green tail. Yeah. And, we're, and all three of us are going to stay behind and use ourselves as distractions as Foulmaster snipes and he hit that guy, the one I was just looking at. So I throw that grenade hoping that it'll finish him off, especially if a buddy is coming to revive him right there. But he gets finished off. And then uh somebody we else. And sadistics uh move it in just a little bit. I was watching uh to their left. We're just making sure the area is clear. Yeah, so I'm gonna watch far right. Cool Breeze is watching far left, and Green Tail is kind of hovering between the two of us. And we th I just threw those grenades in the smoke just in case. Some I didn't know what they were doing. I thought I heard a med pack or first aid go off. Oh yeah, and they're in that little shed right there. And I missed that grenade, and that punched the air. The Cool Breeze, you get that guy right there. Did you notice that? Yeah. You remember that? Oh, yeah. So now we just have the one guy left. I'm pretty sure he's in that shed, but I'm trying to kind of draw him out. Maybe bait him by running back and forth or get another view on him. Another perspective. So we just wait for the circle to push him out. And he knocked me with a grenade. That was a really good move. And but you turned around and nailed him, didn't you? Yep. And then I went over there and started teabagging him. Oh my goodness. I helped him with the kill. It's in the blood. Yep.